Well, if you're a fan of the Wild West, you're going to want to come with us today. <laughs> if you're a fan of history, you're going to want to come with us today. If you're a fan of Billy the Kid, you're going to want to come with us today. If you're not a fan of any of these, still come you're going to want to come with us today. Because <laughs> we're still going to have fun. Yes. We're going to go to Heiko, Texas, the home of Billy the Kid Museum. You notice I didn't say THE Billy the Kid Museum because it's A Billy the Kid Museum, not THE Billy the Kid Museum. Because there's more than one. And, yeah. and I, I haven't decided which one's THE Billy the Kid Museum. <laughs> So I'm just going to call this a Billy the Kid Museum. And there's a bunch of controversy yes. and craziness behind the story of Billy the Kid. Yeah. We're going to tell you all about it. Uh -huh. And we may or may not see some very cool historical stuff. That is true. We may or may not. <laughs> we'll explain no, in a little bit. I have no bit. idea what to expect. No. We may or may not see anything related to Billy the Kid. Fact. Or we may see a lot of really cool stuff related to Billy the Kid. Also fact. <laughs> You'll have to just stick around to see what so we're talking easy, about. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, you know what I just noticed? Hold this. You know what I just noticed while I was in there um, brushing my teeth? You sure? Try to guess. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with it? I don't. The logo's crooked. <gasps> oh. Well, it's tilted and not centered. How did I not notice that? That's what I'm saying. How did you not notice that? You have a uh, you have OCD. Yeah. And I've been wearing this thing for two years. <laughs> not a year. And now that's all it? I'm gonna see. That's all I'm gonna see. <laughs> Every time I put this shirt on, I'm gonna go. Damn it. <laughs> oh my god. How did I miss that? I don't know. Oh, I'm slipping. I'm brushing my teeth and I'm like, <laughs> I mean, we got up early today, so I'm like, am I just crooked uh, yeah. today? Because I'm up so early? Well, that could be true too. <laughs> but no, it's crooked. It is crooked. So, hey, focus on that all day. <laughs> I'm not taking it off. <laughs> Nobody else will notice. Well, they haven't for years. Why would they now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Of course, maybe they have. Maybe they have, and they just haven't come up to me and said, "Excuse me, sir, did you know your logo's crooked on your shirt?" Because that's something I would say. But you would go up to a stranger and tell them their logo's crooked? Possibly. Yeah, I wouldn't. I just go look <laughs> at that crazy guy with the, with the crooked logo and laugh at him behind his back. <laughs> I have no doubts that's what you would do. <laughs> I've seen you do similar things, so. All right. Wow. Anyway, I'm wearing the Crooked Logo shirt. That's crazy. We may or may not show you some Billy the Kid stuff. We'll explain. Oh, we're going with friends today. Chili. So there's three couples going. Yeah. So we figure the guys will ride in one vehicle and the gals will ride in another. Yeah. Leslie's going to drive our vehicle, mm -hmm. which is fine as long as I'm not riding in it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's fine for both of us if you're not riding in it. So I'm going to ride with the guys <laughs> and she'll drive the gals. We made it out to Heiko. Is it Hiko or Heiko? Heiko. Heiko, Texas. Yeah. And you were the eye. I was the eye. There's a little place there in the, in, the, <laughs> in the town square where you can, it has the H and the C and the O and you can be the yeah, eye. I so there like a soldier. Leslie was, right behind us <laughs> is the Billy the Kid Museum, which is maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe maybe Billy. the Billy the Kid Museum. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you a little bit of the story real quick yeah. before you go in there. So, Billy the Kid was killed in 1881 in New Mexico by Pat Garrett. Allegedly. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, because there is some controversy as to whether Pat Garrett actually killed him or whether he got away, whether that's really Billy the Kid buried in Fort Sumner in New Mexico, yeah. or whether he came to Heiko and was really William Roberts. There's a dude named William Roberts that once he was 90 years old here in Heiko claimed that he was Billy the Kid. Yes. 
Now, people had speculations that he was Billy the Kid before that, and he denied it. Yeah. But uh, when he was 90, he said, well, I guess I'm getting older, and I might as well, might as well share the... the truth yeah, so out. he said, well, I'm Billy the Kid, and they actually examined his body while he was still alive, and a lot of the yeah, scars... Yeah, the university did. Yeah, a lot of the scars matched a lot of the stories of Billy the Kid. Yeah. Stab marks and gunshot, gunshot wounds, wounds and yeah. stuff. And then they did a picture analysis, this independent college. Yeah. And they said, these two people are the same person. Yeah. So, according to that, Pat Garrett did not kill Billy the Kid in New Mexico. <laughs> he came to Heiko, Texas, under the name of William Roberts, which he had a little nickname called Brushy Bill. Yeah. And uh, so he claimed he was Billy the Kid, and he which wanted- Which that might be a clue. I mean, if you have a nickname, yeah. like, uh, you, know, you obviously like nicknames. <laughs> yeah. And so, supposedly, that's, that's him. Yeah. A lot of his belongings are in this museum. Yeah. So are these items really Billy the Kid's items or just some crazy old dude stuff? We're gonna give you some more information the so that you can make your determination. <laughs> I, I'm leaning more one way than the other at, at this point. I am too. So we were wondering like, why can't they exhume the body? Yeah. Like, why can't they figure this out? Well, in New Mexico where the grave is, they buried Billy the Kid yeah. so fast. And somebody. there was only a few people who knew where the actual burial site was. And so when this brushy bill came to light yeah they were trying to find the the body the headstone of of where billy the kid was buried in new mexico the headstone was stole, stolen stolen several times and so they went back to these guys who were pallbearers or carried the casket out to the grave site yeah and they were trying to find where it was yeah so they took one of these, each one of these guys out individually and said hey show, show us, us where me. he's buried yeah and they all four came to different locations <laughs> memory wasn't so good yeah so they're like well we don't know which one of these are right. So what they did was they triangulated and centered, you know, between all the four places and then just plopped the headstone and that's where the headstone is. So, so where the headstone is in Fort Sumner, New Mexico, uh, there's no body there. Yeah. So there's nothing to exhume. I mean, now, there's a body somewhere, but not at the marker. Right. And even if they could exhume it, they can't do DNA on that because there's no one to do DNA against. There's no family member to match. And they can exhume Brushy Bill here they know exactly where he is, Yeah. but there's nothing to compare his Compared, DNA to. Yeah. So the world may never know. Yeah. Brushy Bill's death spot where he fell over dead in town is somewhere out here. Yeah. And then his grave somewhere out here. We're going to go try to find those things, and we're going to try to put together the rest of the mystery yeah. so that you when can I make a decision. When I look at the pictures of him as an old man here and next to the other, I mean, he had the ears. The yeah. ears match up, the face. There's even a thing that says the study in ears. Yeah. The ears look the same. Of it. But yeah, it's amazing. So I, yeah, I believe it could have been him. Like it's not uncommon to fake a death and bury a random body. We'll overlay the picture of them side by side so that you can see what we're talking about with the, with the features and yeah. stuff. So make your determination. You decide. Well, I'm walking down the alleyway now of where Brushy Bill 
fell over dead when he was almost 91 years old on the way to the post office to mail his wife a package uh, when Brushy Bill may be Billy the Kid. So we may be walking down the alleyway where Billy the Kid ultimately died. Three men witnessed it. He was just walking along. Uh, there was an old uh, sedan that was parked here in the alleyway and he just kind of crumpled over and grabbed hold of that, that bumper and then kind of just fell over. So right here in this alleyway somewhere, Brushy Bill died. Maybe Billy the Kid died. Where do you think he died at? I don't know because- Right here? Possibly. Right here? Yeah. Right here? Well, well, the guy in, in the museum said it was this alley, but he said a bunch of dug up concrete because yeah. it's been removed. So it's right there. But there are a couple, <laughs> no, because there's a couple spots that are dug up Okay, concrete. it's right there. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I mean, it could be. Uh, I just want to know why it was dug up. I don't understand that. Yeah, you would think that, um, you know, after you dug, it was marked. It was a marker. And they dug it up, the concrete got all tore up. Tore it up. Why wouldn't you put it back? Yeah. Put something on the wall. Put a sign. Anyway, I'm claiming it. It was right here. Yeah, we're on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, out here in the town square, they have a, a monument built of Billy the Kid. Yeah. It's interesting. If, if by interesting you mean ugly. What? Sorry. But, I mean, it's a different take on it looks like somebody took a bunch set. of mud and just slapped it together. I hope it's mud. Uh, what? No. The statue looks like <laughs> 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 In a couple different ways. <laughs> no. No. It's interesting. It, it's interesting. I, I've never seen a statue done like that before. That's why I find it interesting. Yeah. It's just to each their own. That's interesting art. It does look like mud slapped together. It though. does. I. I saw it as like if somebody did a mud sculpture. Yeah, you can't make out the face. It's probably just a silhouette. It's very, uh, what do you call it? What? What do you call art that you can't really figure out what it helped me? Abstract. Means? Abstract. It's abstract. <laughs> it's abstract art. <laughs> the definition of abstract is art that you can't figure out what the hell it means. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, gotta get out of the road. All right. So we're gonna grab some grub and then we're gonna head over to the cemetery and see where Billy the Kid, Brushy Bill, whoever is buried. Call my mama. Call your mom? <laughs> Call and collect? Call collect. <laughs> Well, we're out here at the grave. Actually, the grave's way up there. It's by the road. We couldn't vlog up there because- Very loud. 18 wheelers are screaming by, but yeah. um, I think I have all the information that I need. To make, an, to to make, make a determination? Yeah. Yeah. With I think Brushy verdict. Bill is Billy the Kid. I think he is too. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, with all the uh, forensic stuff that they could do, as far as like photo analysis just, yeah and they analyzed whether he was right or left-handed so billy the kid was was i don't know one or the other and then supposedly brushy bill was the other but turns out brushy bill was ambidextrous. ambidextrous yeah and a lot of the markings on his body from stories about being shot and stabbed yeah. all lined up and he finally claimed to be to be billy yep. the kid after denying it for a while and they actually he went um and asked the the governor of New Mexico to pardon, pardon him, him for all of his wrongs and de and uh, transgressions. Yeah. Denied. Yeah. Told what him no. Did. Yeah. Sorry. No, I don't know if that was because he didn't believe that. He it was. was. It was. It was because he believed he was, that he was not Billy the Kid. Did. So he was like, "I'm not going to pardon you because I'm. I don't think you're Billy the Kid." So. Sad. Bummer. I think he was though. I do. And uh, there's little videos going on in there in the mm -hmm. museum. The museum's not very big. No. So here, I don't want you to get pissed at me when you go there and like, look, it looks like a really cool place and a really big place. On camera, it probably does look because I filmed no. different stuff, but actually in there, it's very small. It's just like if you were to walk into a strip mall store. Yeah. You know, a little antique store. So today a... we either saw <laughs> a lot of Billy the Kid stuff with yeah stuff that Very Billy cool the Kid stuff. owned 
We saw the place where Billy the Kid died and the place where Billy the Kid's buried. Or we just saw a bunch of random stuff and some crap that some crazy guy owned. Mr. Robert. It's one extreme or the other. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I think that's what makes it even more intriguing because it's just, it is two polar opposites. Yeah, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think yeah. if Brushy Bill is actually Billy the Kid. Um, I mean, I saw it just in the photos that they show. Yeah. The eyes, the way the eyebrows wore, the, the just the blank Features. glare. Yeah, the yeah. ears were identical. You got me convinced. Yeah. I'm good. Interesting fun day. Yeah. Um, it's donation only at the museum, so it only costs us that and the cost of uh, lunch. But anyway, uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, who's who with Billy the Kid. Yeah. And uh, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down there in the description. Appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.